when I heard that 7-Eleven had its own makeup line, I was skeptical. I just think it's questionable that a convenience store, and not even like a Wawa or like anything that's more reputable, um, but a 7-Eleven had its own makeup line. After seeing the product, I am pleasantly surprised. I mean, the packaging looks very nice, kind of luxurious especially for 7-Eleven. I would say it could be better than Elf, but worse than Wet n Wild. Oh, that's hard as a rock. It just feels really hard, like, okay. It's not really expanding. It's, now it's just wet, wet rock. I don't wanna put this on my face. I'm gonna get bruises. Like it's water resistant. So the products don't have like a very wide range of colors. Like, looks like there's only three foundations. There's only three concealers, which is not the greatest when it comes to variety. Oh, that's dark. Oh. That's sticky too. The skin match. Um. <laughs> oh no. Okay. So basically what the sponge does is erases. The whole point of a BB cream is that it's supposed to be good for your skin. And this definitely does not feel for my skin. So I'm not gonna put this on my face because it does not match my skin tone. <laughs> oh, are you kidding? It smells like, like baby powder, but not like in a good way. Yeah, this can definitely be my concealer. I can see myself using it. Um, I, in terms of shade, I think this concealer is going to be bad for everyone. The consistency is terrible. It comes with a baby brush. What I'm thinking is like, so I'll get this tackiness on it, and then I'll grab the powder. This was really annoying to go back and forth with one brush to kind of like dip in the wax and then dip in the powder. My regular brow product is so much better and I would have had my brows done five minutes ago. I mean, I would never use it, but I was expecting that little sponge eyeshadow applicator, which it doesn't come with. And for $5, I feel like you should come with something Oh, that was a surprising amount of pigmentation. There is a lot of fallout. Like, you can see all the lines starting to, like, get muddy and blend together. Um, so that's annoying. So the felt tip is just a little stiff. But it's fine. It's not that hard to work with, actually. This was really simple. It was easy. Um, and it did exactly what it should do. So I liked it. So this is the lip crayon, which instead of a lipstick, they've opted for this big, bigger, chunkier crayon. I think when I think of lip crowns, as opposed to like lipsticks, I do think of like really creamy consistencies, something that's really like moisturizing on the lip. Ooh, see? I like this. It has quite the color payoff, which I'm very surprised by. It feels nice. It doesn't feel like too glossy. It feels like something that would stay on your lips.
So I use highlighter every single day. I like to glow all the way up. So I am very interested to see what this looks like. So it comes with a little brush. That's great. Whoa. I'm digging a hole. Oh my God. Running theme with this makeup is that it doesn't show very much. Oh my God, SOS, SOS. They're not crazy shimmery, which defeats the whole purpose of a highlighter. And they're also kind of chalky. I think I would get the concealer because I actually really liked it. I would probably repurchase the eyeshadow because I really like those deep shades. The eyeliner pleasantly surprised me. I think with a little bit of work, it isn't terrible. The ink does run out pretty quickly and you have to give it a good shake in order to get it to keep flowing. The lipstick also pleasantly surprised me. Don't love the color, but the feel is not so bad. It's actually very smooth. I would say do it just to try it. They have a lot of different things, which I think is impressive. They have a lot of different tools and stuff, um, but there's a long way to go. Like they still have some building to do. There are some things here that I would wear again, but overall, I think that it kind of met my expectations as to what you would guess would come from 7-Eleven makeup.